Okay, welcome back to Tuesday, day two of Mission Possible. It's so good to see you back here today with us. And today we've got so much more jam-packed fun to do. But now what we're going to go and do is our warm-up again. So get up, get going. Let's go over to Special Agent Ruth, who's going to give us our warm-up video this morning. We're going to do Simon Says. Does everybody know how to play that? If you don't, I'll explain the rules. So I am going to call a list of instructions. You follow them if Simon says, but you don't follow them if Simon doesn't say. So here we go. Let's try to do a warm up. Simon Says, run on the spot. Run on the spot, everybody. Come on, super. These are doing well. Brilliant. Simon says, climb the ropes, come on, as high as you can, climb up there, climb up there, yep, brilliant. Simon says, go round in a circle. Keep going everybody, oh, Simon didn't say to keep going, did he? Simon says, touch your toes, everybody down, come up, touch your toes. Simon says, climb the ropes again, because they're doing super well, brilliant. Fantastic. Simon says, go round in a circle again. Brilliant. Well done. Simon says, jump on the spot. Everybody jump. Jump. Stop. Oh, I hope you're still jumping. If you're not jumping, you're out. Simon says, stop. Simon says, do scissor jumps. Come on. Everybody do scissor jumps. Brilliant. Well done. Simon says, stop. Simon says, touch your toes. Climb the ropes. Oh, we made a mistake. Simon didn't say that. Oh no. Simon says, go right in a circle. Simon says, climb the ropes. Brilliant, you're doing fantastic. Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, go round in a circle again. Stop. Oh, I hope you're still going round in a circle. Oh, I'm getting dizzy, are you? Simon says, stop. Simon says, do scissor jumps. Simon says, stop. Simon says, wave your arms. Simon says, jump up and down in the spot. Go right in a circle. I hope you're still jumping on the spot. I know it's going right in a circle. Keep going, you're doing super. And Simon says, stop. Well, that was very well done, boys and girls. And I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did, and I hope you enjoy your next activity. Sometimes people make us sad, wind us up and make 
make us mad Call us names or pull our hair Laugh about our underwear Sometimes we feel on our own Things that happen make us grow Nothing seems to go our way But we can always tell each other We can always tell each other One, one thousand and two, one thousand and three. Oh, sorry, Ruth, that was fantastic. Cannot wait for the next warm up video tomorrow. But for now, boys and girls, what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to Special Agent Ryan, who's going to bring us the mini mission this morning. If you choose to accept it. Hello, Special Agents. This is Special Agent Ryan, and I'm here with our challenge. The mission, if you choose to accept it today, is the popcorn challenge. What you will need, some popcorn, nice and tasty, your hand, your arm, and another agent's mouth. So the object is to take a popcorn, you're gonna have five kernels of popcorn, and you're going to toss the popcorn into the mouth of another agent. Now, the object is to get as many of those pieces of popcorn into the other agent's mouth, because if you miss, You'll have to do press ups for the number that you miss out of five. So, to help me with this challenge today, I have trainee agent, special agent L, and special agent J. Help! And each of them are going to give this a go. And what we need is accuracy and a skill. And if they don't have accuracy or skill, well, they'll do press ups to get some strength because a well rounded special agent has all of those things. So, Let's go with Special Agent J to Special Agent L. Very close. Oh. Well, looks like Special Agent J is going to need more practice. Let's see if Special Agent L has some better luck in his pursuit. Mm. There we go, Special Agent L. Oh, he's cracking his knuckles, getting ready for it. All right. You realize, Special Agent J, that you can move to catch the popcorn. Oh, that was a close one. One more, one more. Oh, well, it looks like our special agents are going to need more training. So for now, on the ground, give me press ups. Oh, no. Four, five, done. Bye. That's all for now. Agent L at your service. Well, boys and girls, what I want you to do now, before we get into this Bible lesson today, I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to think about a time when you find yourself in the dark. When you find yourself, maybe it was in a room and you couldn't find the light. And so it was pitch black. And all you could do was try and find the door. But because it was so dark, you couldn't find it. Or maybe you were outside and there was no street lights. There was nothing. 
it was just pitch black. And because it was so black, because it was so dark, you couldn't see where you wanted to go. How would you feel in that situation? Because to me, I would feel pretty scared. I would feel pretty scared because I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see where I was going. I couldn't find the light. And the Bible teaches us, boys and girls, that there's a place where God isn't. And that is hell. And the Bible says that if we don't believe in Jesus, then we will be separated from God in this place called hell. But God, he, he hates, he would hate that to happen to anybody. But boys and girls, as we learned yesterday, we all have sin, this darkness of sin. And that's what the color is today. The color is black because sin separates us from God. And sin stops us having a relationship with God. But I want to take you back, boys and girls, years and years before. Because when God first made the world, he made it perfect. And God made all the fish in the sea, all the land, all the animals perfect. There was no sin at the start. And he made Adam, the first man. And he said to Adam, what you see before you, I'm giving to you. You're in charge. You look after everything that I've given you. And so Adam took care of this garden that God had given him. And after a short period of time, God made a woman called Eve. And Adam and Eve loved spending time with each other. And they loved spending time in this garden that God had made. And God had a perfect relationship with Adam and Eve. But God had, a, had an enemy. And that enemy was the devil. And the devil didn't like the fact that Adam and Eve had a, a great relationship with God. The devil wanted to destroy that relationship. And he started thinking up of a plan. And one day, Eve was walking through the garden when a serpent that the devil had used came and asked Eve, why did God tell her not to eat from the tree in the middle of the garden? You see, God had given them one, one rule, boys and girls. One rule, and that rule was not to eat of this tree in the middle of the garden. That was the only rule that God gave them. And so the devil sent this serpent to ask her, why did God tell you not to eat of the fruit of that tree? And Eve said, well, God told us that if we eat of the tree, we'll die. And the, the serpent said, no, you won't die. You will, you will be like God, knowing good from evil. And so when the serpent said that, boys and girls, Eve got a wee bit intrigued and she took some of the fruit and ate it and she gave it to Adam and he ate it. But as soon as they did that, boys and girls, sin entered the world because they, because they disobeyed God. And the serpent had successfully separated that relationship that God had with Adam and Eve. And that's when sin entered the world. And because of sin, we have sickness. Because of sin, we have death. Because of sin, we have sadness and tears. This is all because of sin, boys and girls. And that's, that sin separates us from God. And in the Bible, it tells us in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so that means that everybody is a sinner. Everybody, because of Adam and Eve disobeying God, everybody has sin. And so everybody has fallen short of this great God that we have. But do not worry, because just as we learned yesterday, God desired to have that relationship with us. God loves us. And so he went on this mission. 
sending Jesus to save us. And tomorrow we're going to find out exactly what Jesus did in order to save us. And I really hope you can be there tomorrow to hear what it is because it's absolutely amazing what God did for me and you. But until then, we're going to finish up our Bible lesson today. I hope you've really enjoyed yourself and have taken a lot from it. Well, boys and girls, I really hope you enjoyed that Bible lesson this morning. But now what I'm going to do, especially in Jason, is I'm going to take you over and teach you what the craft is today. So, let's go! Well, now it's time for the craft, boys and girls. And today is day two. And we learnt all about sin, didn't we? And we learnt about how in the garden, Adam and Eve were um, enticed by this serpent to eat of this tree that God told them not to eat of. And so today we're going to make a wee snake. Okay, what you're going to need for this snake craft is a paper plate. You're going to need some print stick. You're going to need some green paint. You're going to need either red card or white card. If you have white card, then you can color and color you're going to make a wee tongue with the white card that you can colour in with red paint, like I'm using, or you can use red felt tip. And another thing you need is googly eyes, but if you don't have googly eyes, you can cut out some paper to make two eyes and pop two wee dots for the eyes on there. And that's really it, that's all that you need for this craft, as well as some scissors. What I want you to do is to take your green paint, I've got some in this wee flower thing here, and what I want you to do is take a sponge, you need a wee sponge as well, and dip your sponge in the green paint. And all I want you to do is to dab that paint around your plate, all around your plate. So I'm going to just do this here. So you want to have something like that now okay so I've just dabbed a wee sponge around all of it and now you have to let that dry so when it's dry what you need to do next is you need to take your scissors and to cut round the plate slowly getting into the center more and more so you keep going around in a spiral See what I'm doing here? And at the end, you want to make a wee head. So there's my wee head in the middle. Okay. So when you're finished with that, it should look like that. So there's your wee snake and what you want to do next is you want to either take your googly eyes or take a wee piece of card and cut two small circles in the card, okay? So there's my two wee pieces of paper, the wee circles and then you want to take some print stick and stick them on your snake. And when you've done that, then you can, if you have your paper eyes, then you can draw on your wee black pupils. Wee black circles for the eyes. Then what you want to do is you want to take your white card again, if you haven't got red card, and you want to cut out a wee tongue for your little snake. When you've cut that out, then you can take your red paint and you can paint your tongue red. And 
And when you've painted your tongue red, then you take some more glue and you glue that to your wee snake's head where the tongue would go. Now I would glue it under the head so that you can see it. So that's my wee man there, all good to go. And that's your wee snake craft for today. I hope you really enjoy the snake craft um, and get a lot of fun out of it. And you can hang this up somewhere in your house, even with a wee piece of string. You can hang that up off the head and dangle it over a doorway or something, scare your mum and dad. But there you go, that's the craft. So we're gonna head back over to Mission Possible headquarters. Oh. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that uh, craft with me this morning. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head on over to another field agent, Special Agent Scott. And Special Agent Scott's gonna bring us the memory verse this morning for day two of Mission Possible. Hey guys, I hope you all had a brilliant day yesterday. I didn't even get to meet you guys yesterday, so my name is Scott, and I wonder if you remember what you guys did yesterday, and it involved using your memory a lot. Has anyone got it? It's another memory verse that we've got today, and so, Maybe you've forgotten yesterday's, but it's okay because you can watch the video back and you can try and learn it again. But I've got a very easy job, I think, because I think this verse is going to be so easy for you guys to remember. So easy. And it's one which is found in a book of the Bible called Romans, and it's found in Romans chapter 3, verse 23. So maybe that would be a good start if we can learn where it comes from in the Bible. So... Whenever I say it, after three, will you repeat it after me? Yeah, brilliant. So it's in Romans chapter three, verse 23. You go one, two, three. Romans chapter three, verse 23. That was brilliant. That was so good. Okay, so now it's time to actually learn what the verse says. And it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that's a little bit confusing, isn't it? And you're maybe saying, Scott, you told us this was really easy. And there's some of the words that maybe we don't even know in there. So one of the words, one of the little phrases, which I think is a little bit confusing, is the glory of God. And basically that's saying that God is perfect. So it's not that confusing, sure it's not. If we think that this is just that God is perfect, then that makes it much simpler, doesn't it? Because it says then, for all have sinned and fall short of God's perfection. Does that make a bit more sense? Yeah. And so that tells us a lot then about this other word, which I think is a little bit confusing. It's this word sinned. So maybe we don't really know what sin is, but the rest of this verse sort of tells us what it is. Because if God is perfect, then it's saying that sin is when we fall short of that. Have any of you tried to maybe throw a dart at the dartboard or maybe maybe tried to get a ball into a bucket and you throw it but it actually falls short. It totally misses the target. I've done that before and that's what it's saying here. It's basically if like God is perfect and that is the target that's what we'd all love to be but whenever we try to hit the target we fall short. And who is it saying? Is it just is it just really bad people who sin? Well, actually this verse tells us all have sinned. So maybe you can try and learn this with me now, will you? So will I say it first and then you repeat after me? Because I think that worked quite well last time. Let's try that. So for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now it's your turn, okay? One, two, three. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Okay, so now it's where it gets a little bit more tricky because I have brought some sticky notes with me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover some words. So 
Do you remember what this word is before I cover it up? Sinned. So, what have we all done? We've all sinned, exactly. So, I hope you're ready to say it now. Are you ready? For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Okay, I'm going to cover a few more now. Because who did we say have sinned? All of us. Isn't that right? Okay. So, I'll cover all... And what else will I cover? Who, whose glory have we fallen short of? God's. Yeah, that's right. So now I've covered some more. And I want you to say it with me after three, okay? One, two, three. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Brilliant. And where's that from again? From Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Okay, I'm going to come, I'm going to cover one more word. Now, what will I cover? I think I'll cover fall. Okay, so you have to say it with me now after three. And I want you to say it really, really quietly. So we're going to say, the Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23. And then we'll read the verse. Okay, so after three, one, two, three. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God That was amazing That was so so good And now what if I take it away completely Do you think you can do it now? Oh, it's getting a little bit trickier, isn't it? Okay, so I want you to shout it as loud as you can. Remember, we're going to do, the Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, and then we'll say the verse. Okay, really, really loud. I'm going to stand back because it might get very loud. Okay, one, two, three. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Clap your hands Well, big thank you to Special Agent Scott, and I really hope, boys and girls, you've enjoyed your time with us 
today. What we're now going to do is we're going to finish off with a wee prayer from Special Agent Gareth. So let's head on over now. Hi boys and girls, thank you for listening uh, today and, and taking part in all the fun things that we had for you and, and I hope you really enjoyed the story that Jason told you today. I'm just going to, to finish off today by a word of prayer. So let's all close our eyes and we'll fold our arms and we'll pray to our Father in heaven. Father, we thank you that no matter what we've done, what sins we have committed, that you love us and that you will always love us. We thank you that you sent your son to die for us on the cross to take away all our sins so that we can live forever with you in heaven. We thank you for all the boys and girls who have turned in to listen to the story today, to take part in the craft and in all the fun we have done. And we pray that you will keep them all safe in your hands, God and bring them all back tomorrow to hear what Jason has to say. We thank you, God. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. Well, boys and girls, that's us for another day, and really hope to see you tomorrow. Now, don't forget that there, below this video, there's a link for the activity pack for the day, and that has some coloring pages and word searches, as well as the craft for the day. So make sure to get your parents to, to click on the wee link and download that activity pack for today. But until tomorrow, see you later.